All right, so we're here at Buckstop. So we met with Dorian, uh, the owner of Buckstop, and uh, he offered to give us a tour of his facility. So here we are, and we're gonna do a test drive of one of their F550s with the super single conversion and liquid spring. So we're gonna check that out. We're thinking about doing something very similar to our rig. So we'll bring you along for the ride. So you can see it over here. This is the 550 with the truck camper on it. That's gonna be the one that we're gonna be test driving. So what else is in this particular truck? Liquid spring. Two inch, two inch front lift, four inch rear. Perfect. And this one's got dual steering stabilizers on it. This one's got all of our skids on it as well. This particular truck doesn't have a sway bar on it. Okay. Front or rear. Do you find that the liquid spring kind of compensates for that so you don't need the sway bar? Yep. Gotcha. But no negative effects on this. These things are built for tractors and everything back in the day, right? So. Lining equipment originally. Yep. What tires? on this right now. This is the good year. This tire is significant, significantly quieter and rides nice. And for the people watching this, uh, you can't hear it. It's a, like a low hum. So you can definitely hear the tires, but you know, I've had 42 inch mud terrain tires that sound more like a, a prop or a propeller in an airplane. And these are just a nice low hum. They're significantly quieter. Perfect. And it's easy for me to have phone conversations. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, we're talking normally going 45 to 50 and no problems. Yeah, uh, what kind of air pressure do you guys run in the tires? Uh, these are about 70 right now, just because I put the camper on. Typically, I'll, I'll keep them about 55. I was talking to uh, another couple um, at the expo, um, Austin and Megan. And, uh, you know, they run 80 in the rear, 70 in the front typically, but they're under a heavy load, big, heavy flatbed. So it really depends on the weight. You got to play around, dial it in. Exactly. You guys do proprietary wheels too, right? So you guys have the Goodyear tires on them right now. Seems like a fantastic choice for anyone that's not going to be on the dirt 90% of the time. Yeah. The ride is smooth, like very smooth. What do you think, Nate? You want to drive? Yeah, actually I do. Got a little drop of rhythm. Okay, so relatively light load on a 550. Now we're on a, a gravel road. Honestly, I've been in F-150s that ride worse than that. Yeah. So under 13 miles an hour, the system's completely open. So you get crazy flex on this. Full articulation of it. I love that. Yeah, so that was impressive, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. You know, that's uh, it wasn't even crazy thing off-roading, but if you're, you know, like us, we're going down to Moab, you know, we're hitting a lot of these washboard roads, we're just getting, things get muddy or rained out and rutted out. You know, the fact that the big tires flow, it tracks great. That's yeah. the thing that I don't think anyone talks about. That's going that's from cool. dually to single, you know, we were in the ruts and we weren't getting thrown around. These tires have 30,000 miles. Really? Yeah. yeah. This set, yeah. and they still look like new, yeah. honestly, the amount of trim. Side by side to a new tire, there's not a lot of difference. So what would you say the life is of a tire like this? You get 50 out of pretty easily. Yeah. How's it hold um, alignments on these? Great, if I've touched it. But again, 30,000 miles now. Yeah. Is there any special maintenance that people need to worry about or think about with a liquid spring? Not really, make sure that reservoir has fluid in it. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I feel like that turn right there came in a little hot maybe with a load and yeah. no roll. Yeah. So I guess with a, a typical super single build like this, what's included in the package? Yeah, this is the stage five kit. So stage five kit is going to be the liquid spring system, system the front bumper that's right next to the conversion. Okay. Fender flares and body modification kit because you've got some brackets that you cut out some force for it so that we have a bracket that replaces it. Okay, okay. Five tires and five wheels. The, these wheels right here are interchangeable front and back. All you do is flip them. Correct, yeah. From my understanding. So. so. And then you guys see the custom fenders, inner fenders, that's all a part of that package. Correct. Uh, and um, I think you typically just do the textured finish, right? Line X is a standard. Is a standard. So it's in ride height. A fully lifted, three inches above ride height. The axle lowering first. Does it do it in that order? It does, always. It'll always raise the front first so you have full steering as quickly as possible. Then it lowers the back and then lowers the front. So this is gonna be the lowered configuration. Yes, it's sitting on the bump stop switch. 
on the bump stops. Correct. So what's the benefit of being in this configuration? Ingress and egress, basically. Yeah. Get in and out of it. Like, like, it. like if we want to put it in a garage, we drive it in like this, a low right. speed? Yeah, up to about 10 miles an hour. After that, it'll correct itself. Okay. I, I personally love this look. I would go something like this. This is our standard configuration on this bumper. On the, our new 23, that's got the wrench and the new option with the squares. So we've got a four and a wrench square from that. Perfect. What size much? It's a heavy rig. So what do you guys do? It's designed around a 16.5 Ti. I mean, I've seen some people with big rigs around the hydraulic stuff. Yeah. Do any of your bumpers support something that big? They do. Yeah, we have an industrial option. Okay. Good to know. So there are options available out there yes. if you want to run the big hydraulic style. Is there anything else we need, should know about the super single and about this conversion? Well, you know, nothing other than what you already experienced. Yeah. That's yeah. The, the ride quality is really good. Yeah. And Honestly, a big portion of this tire is here too. Yeah, I mean, having a, a rigid wheel that's not flexing is going to help a lot in just like tracking stability, you know, right. going down the road. But then also having that additional sidewall that you get from the larger tires, that dampens a lot of the micro vibration. So that's a lot of what he's talking about here is that that in itself, before you even get to the suspension, before you get to the frame and chassis, is eating up a lot of that road noise and road vibration. Right. What would be a typical lead time if they wanted to do something like this with bug stuff? Right now we're about 12 weeks out. Okay. We're trying to bring that down. We've got a factual facility that we've started in Texas. Okay. Yeah, so 12 weeks, give them a call. You'll have your truck in here and then another one week you or so. That, you're, you're, you're hitting the, the road. Yeah, you're hitting the road. So that's awesome. And then stage one to stage five, as I said, so you have options. And where does that range in the price range going from low to high? The basic kit, you're going to be about a 17,000 okay. kit, which yeah, that would include the lift kit, our lift kit that we manufacture here. Five tires, five wheels, bumper, and fender flares. Okay. I usually recommend people start with stage two kit okay. because it solves some other problems. You're going to be in the 19,000 range okay. for the product. Stage five, full liquid spray kit, it's uh, about 42,000. The really we're looking at around 19, you know, on the low end for something that's going to solve a lot of issues, be yeah. ready to go, hit the road, hit the trails, all the way up to 47. Correct. As we see here, the parts and then plus the install. So depending where, when, time, that may change. But um, I mean, yeah, this is a fantastic rig and really it takes us about anywhere, right? Yeah. yeah. Go anywhere you want to go. Cool. Well, thanks, guys. Hope you all enjoyed that. Thanks. And uh, if you guys want to check out more information, Buckstop's yeah. website, yeah. Uh, what can they find yeah. out more? Yeah, buckstopinc.com, yeah. or call us here at the shop. I'm the single wheel guy, so get a hold of me. Yeah, awesome. So we'll put those links at the bottom of the description. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot.